Hey everybody, NecroVMX here. Check out my white tits. So this is a follow-up to uh, the video that I did. Uh, oh God, it's been like almost a week, hasn't it? Which was uh, about how I was disappointed with YouTube because uh, they took down the Custer's Revenge video. And uh, yeah, I mean, uh, so as I pointed out in that video... I, uh, the video was flagged and taken down. Uh, they said it violated their community guidelines. They, of course, do not tell you specifically which community guidelines that it, uh, violated. They just tell you to read it. And I did read it. And I, as a matter of fact, I read it in the last video out loud. And, um, I determined that it didn't even come close to violating any of the community guidelines. Uh, not only that, but I pointed out in the last video that if you go on YouTube and you search for Custer's Revenge, which I'm going to do right now again, uh, last week it was, I think, I got something along the lines of 12,000, um, results okay it's a little less now it's eleven thousand nine hundred so somebody is going out there and taking all these videos down now the ones that i'm seeing here are just you know pretty much the same ones that i saw last time machinima atari 2600 channel dave the usher you know um yeah, but they're, you know, they all show the same exact footage, the same exact gameplay, which is, you know, the gameplay that Custer's Revenge has, which, um, you know, you might say is offensive, but um, it, that's the point, you know, like, that, that's the reason that this game is so interesting to people, because it's so offensive, and because you never get away with something like that today, and it kind of shows how... Um, you know, in the, in the 80s, uh, people just didn't care about being politically correct. And But you know what? This isn't even about political correctness because, um, you know, that was just a, a terribly offensive game on many levels, which I pointed out in the video that I had done with YouTube. Uh, obviously, maybe they disagreed with what I was saying. Maybe they like Custer's Revenge, and that's why they have all these videos up. But mine's no good. <laughs> well, anyway... Um, I put up that video, it was, uh, let me see here, uh, when did I put up this video? On October 30th, so it's actually been exactly a week, um, because I, I put up that video shortly after appealing the, uh, decision to take the video down, and, uh, I promised you guys a follow-up, and it's amazing that it took them a week to review a video that was, I, I think, 10 minutes long originally but anyway i got the uh, i got the email here right now and it's a uh, decision on your video appeal from youtube and it says dear necro vmx thank you for submitting your video appeal to youtube after further review of the content we've determined that your video does violate our community guidelines and have upheld our original decision we appreciate your understanding sincerely the youtube team um I don't know what understanding they're appreciating because I'm not understanding any of this. There was nothing in the video that violated any of YouTube's community guidelines. And uh, th there's nothing to understand. I don't understand why they took it down to begin with. I don't understand the decision on the appeal. And I'm definitely not understanding of their mannerisms in this case. So, um, you know, I can't get too upset about it, though. Like I said, it's just kind of like one of those things that you just got to deal with, you know, uh, if that's the way they wish to run their website, then they certainly have the right to do that. Uh, it is theirs. Uh, I do find it, you know, messed up that, you know, they made money off of the video for five years, because as I pointed out last time, a week ago, this, this, uh, this is five years old. This video was up for five years before it was taken down and then all of a sudden it was no good it was also monetized which um i mean and they approved it for monetization you know when videos get reviewed before they're mo fully monetized so that's another thing you know to take into consideration but anyway, like I said, I can't get too upset about it. It's not that big of a deal, but I did promise you guys a follow-up. Um, 
there's really nothing more I can do. You know, they give you an appeal. They, you know, you reject they you, they reject it. Um, you can't make another one. As a matter of fact, uh, they lock you out of appealing decisions for something like 60 days. You, you can only appeal once per 60 days. I don't even get why that is. Um, but considering the fact that it took them seven days to review and appeal on a 10-minute video kind of makes me think that they're just really behind on this, and that's why they try to limit the amount of appeals. But that being said... Um, it's uh, you know they're just they're just being stupid they're just being really really dumb and uh, i wanted to address a few things um comments from the first video even though i said in the video how flags work and how um you know these things work it seems that people still don't understand it no amount of flags will take a video down a lot of people commented thinking that if a whole bunch of people flag a video then it'll automatically get taken down that that is not the case um, that is not the case uh, that has never happened in the history of youtube it doesn't matter uh, uh, a thousand flags is not any more or any less effective than a single flag um, all the flag does is it tells youtube that they need to look at the video and make a decision unfortunately it looks like they're now making very dumb decisions and it looks like the people making these decisions are not aware of what the actual community guidelines are and uh so what they need to do is they need to either educate their staff on community guidelines and and what they actually are or they need to actually update the community guidelines um, and also I should mention that um, if they do update the community guidelines um, it would be considered incredibly unfair for these things to be retroactive um, like you know obviously when I put up the Custer's Revenge video that was something that was okay to put up um, many other people have uploaded videos and are still uploading videos of Custer's Revenge to this day um, If they, somewhere along the lines, change the rules, and, uh, you know, unless they're going around informing people of these things, which they don't do, you know, they don't tell you when they change the community guidelines, um, they just sort of change them, and they haven't changed them all that much, I should add, but, um, what are we supposed to do, go back, you know, five years ago and, and revisit every video to see if it, you know, it is it, if it uh is now against the community guidelines you know that were changed it's kind of like um i don't know like if if they if they decided to uh the, the united states government decided to make alcohol illegal and they actually they, they kind of did that once uh, it was called prohibition um well alcohol itself wasn't illegal but the sale of alcohol was illegal for a brief period of time now they couldn't go arresting people because they sold alcohol before it was illegal so that's sort of my point if if youtube's attitude is that this video may have been okay five years ago but you know we feel the social climate has changed or whatever and now it's no longer okay um it's it's unfair to punish people for doing something that was perfectly fine at the time and has has later become you know against the rules um you know so you know that that that's called retroactive punishment it's uh it's not okay in any civilized society and and you know youtube is a company but they are also a society uh because they are made up of a community and like I said, um, I did review the community guidelines as of a week ago when the video was taken down, and the video did not violate any of the community guidelines at all. The closest you could come is about sexualized nudity, which as I explained, first of all, was, you know, the, certainly uh, the purpose of the video was not to titillate anybody. Uh, if you got turned on by that, then you should have your head examined. And secondly, um... As I mentioned, we're talking about Atari 2600 here, you know. So, uh, you know, how could you really even count that as new? Like I said, it's like uh, the black rectangle in 
the last video where I said that's that's my black cock, you know, and in this one I have the 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 black rectangles inside the white rectangles and those are you know like my my naked tits. <laughs> so uh yeah. If you guys want to wait five years and then flag this video, you know, I'm okay with that. You know, I, th I would probably think it's really funny, actually. You know, in no way, shape, or form have any of my videos ever violated the community guidelines. Uh, because I do make myself aware of them, and I do follow them. But, uh, yeah. And like I said, I, I read the comments on, on the last video the uh the black cock one and um I, I by the way i monetized that video which i thought was really funny it took them a long time to approve it but they did approve it and i'm gonna do the same with this video and they'll, they'll probably approve it because i'm not saying or showing or doing anything that's against their rules so um you know it's just a bunch of squares rectangles and such uh very simple black and white colors <laughs> You know, but anyway, um, you know, as, as I said, um, you know, don't blame the person that flagged it. I mean, that, that, like I said, don't get mad at them. Life will get mad at them. That, that's a person who has no life. You, you don't really need to get upset with them. It's YouTube that was wrong. Uh, so anyway, I just, um, sorry I didn't get to do any regular videos today, but uh, I've been dealing with this and a lot of other uh, unrelated things. Nothing too bad, but. Um, just wanted to tell you guys and give you guys a follow-up on what went on because I did promise that. So anyway, uh, I, I don't think that there will be any further um, developments in this because it's pretty much all said and done at this point. If there are, by any chance, any further developments, I will certainly let you guys know, but it looks like this is it. Uh, they rejected the appeal. I'm disappointed in that decision because it was the wrong decision they are 100 percent incorrect they're wrong uh they don't know their own rules or i think that the employees who are doing reviews um either they are acting out of a spiteful manner or they are unaware of their own rules or they just don't care and they just you know do whatever they want and either way it is an unprofessional way and it's no way to run a business unfortunately um it's not like you could just go to another site. I mean, there are alternatives to YouTube, but, you know, they suck. So, what can you do, you know? We just got to deal with it. So, um, you know, I, I, I wanted to give you guys the update. Don't be upset about it. It's not that big of a deal. Like, when I saw the email, I didn't get mad. I didn't get upset. I just kind of rolled my eyes because I... You know, I, I if you remember, in the last video, I said I don't expect them to change their minds i expected them uh I, as a matter of fact my my exact words were i expect them to be obstinate about this and uphold their decision and that's exactly what they did uh so you know that that is what happens you know very rarely do they go back and say no we screwed up um it's unusual for a company as large as google because that's who we're dealing with is google um to say that you know we were wrong it's it's hard for an individual to admit that they were wrong um and imagine a large corporation like google to admit that they were wrong um it's not easy to to make it happen it has to be something really really major so anyway um i'll see you guys tomorrow with more videos and we're just gonna chug along no big deal and uh that's it vmx out big titties.